Probiotics. Just turn on the TV or page through any magazine and you see them advertised just about everywhere these days. But what are probiotics and why do you need them? Let's get answers from Nurse Practitioner Hormonal Health and Wellness Center founder, Terry Suresh, and Integrative Nutrition Consultant, I hope I pronounced that right, Renee Walls. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Real interested in probiotics because I told you that I had an experience where mm -hmm. I tried them and I got so sick. So we're going to explore what probiotics are. What are they and why is it important, Renee, for us to have probiotics? Probiotics basically are the good, healthy bacteria that should be living in our GI tract or our intestines, our gut, this area. And what are the bad bacteria then? Well, bad bacteria is what also can be living in this area, and those are things that when we don't have enough of the good guys can grow and grow and grow. So things like fungus and yeast and bad bacteria, they end up causing a lot of complications when we have too many of the bad not enough of the good. We can have things like gas and bloating and constipation and diarrhea. And since 70% of our immune system lives in our intestinal tract, it can weaken our immune system as well. Okay, well, Tara, I wanted to ask you about that. And we do have some different probiotics here that we're going to point out. But you mentioned the immune system. Is this important for your immune system and maybe particularly in cold and flu season? How does all that work? Right, absolutely. There's no question that probiotics are so important for the immune system. Like she said, um, the gut is part of the immune system. And when you don't have a healthy gut and healthy bacteria, in the gut, it's harder for our bodies to fight off infection, especially with all the antibiotics we take in this country. Antibiotics kill the good bacteria, so it's always imperative if you've got to take antibiotics to take a good probiotic. But with regards to cold and flu season, um, obviously if your immune system's boosted, you're much better able to fight that cold and flu. But there's also a great probiotic that we offer called Immune Booster that actually shortens the duration times of colds and flus. Well, let me ask you, because and I'm going to hold this up. We see all kinds of probiotics out there mm -hmm. these days. Everything, they're all over the place. What are the keys to finding a good one? I'll let Renee answer that. The keys to finding a good one, threefold. First of all, you need to have bacteria that are strain specific. I'll explain what I mean. Different strains do different things. So think of a family tree. If you have a grandfather, let's take Lactobacillus acidophilus. Uh, Lactobacillus is the grandfather. Then you have the father, that's acidophilus. Well, then there's a bunch of children running around in that family. It depends which one of those children you have, and so you need to have ones that are clinically proven to work in the human. Also, temperature controlled, so you know that when you get it, it's still alive and it hasn't died in transport. Right. So different probiotics do different things? No is question. Is that right? Right. I thought it was just like one size fits all. No. Nope. Just like hormones, it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Okay, so you mentioned uh, specific probiotics have different qualities. What do you suggest for your patients then in that plethora of things that are out there? Right. Well, um, for a good general everyday probiotic, I love the Ultraflora, but Metagenics, which is who we use because of their potency purity quality, uh, they have actually 12 different formulations. And there's formulations for women's health, gut health, vaginal health, bladder health, immune system, acute care, which really attacks bacteria. Um, gosh, leaky gut is coming down the pike. I mean, there's just so many and it's really important that you um, just like with anything if you're going to start taking something get in there and get the right probiotic for whatever ailments you may be suffering from and so someone could contact you of course with any questions no question. about yep. any of this one thing I did want to say though you told me that because I got sick and I think other people have similar mm -hmm. experiences don't give up you need to get Don't the right get probiotic. So you need to get the questions answered. There's two answered. things going on. If you got a probiotic that uh, maybe didn't have quality, there was contamination. But also, when it's when the good guys are killing off the bad guys, the bad guys give off some byproduct that, that might be causing that gas. Yep. So, so that just, means you need more. Yeah. Get, keep <laughs> taking it. Get keep taking it. Get with the right practitioner. Get the, get right, the, right, get the right one is what's most important. You have a special offer for mm -hmm. GMT viewers, right. anybody uh, who's interested in probiotics. Right. So um, we obviously would love for you to have a consultation so we can figure out the right one for you. And we're offering um, B12 energy shots uh, for complimentary for all people that mention GMT and come in for that service. All right. Well, thanks for coming thanks. in, trying to explain some of this complicated, uh, complicated question. <laughs> you can call Hormonal Health and Wellness Centers for consultations to find the right probiotic for you. The phone numbers are on your screen. South Lake is 817-328-8376. Rockwall is 469-402-1877. You can also find out more online at hormonalhealthwellness.com and we'll be right back.